All right, Calculorians, and this, this is the last installment of the chain rule and my efforts to get you to love it. So in this example, we're gonna look at a rational function. So f of x is one over 83x plus five. In the world of the chain rule, I'm gonna rewrite f of x. So I have 83x plus five to the negative one power. And applying the chain rule, I'm gonna recognize my outside function is something raised to the negative one power, and my inside function is this 83x plus five. So therefore, my derivative is the derivative of the outside function, so the negative one comes down, 83x plus five to the negative one minus one, so I've taken the derivative of the outside function, times the derivative of the inside function, where the inside function is 83x plus five, so the derivative of that inside function is just going to be 83. Tie it all together, clean it up. I can do my negative 1 times the 83, so that's negative 83 times 83x plus 5 to the negative 1 minus 1 power, which is the negative second power. And I never love leaving a negative exponent, so I'm going to say my derivative is negative 83 and move this 83x plus 5 to the negative second power to the denominator. And there we have the derivative using the chain rule. Now, if you're not totally buying this, I am going to do a proof of how to take this derivative using our difference quotient. So it's gonna be kind of quick and dirty, and we have to do a lot of algebra tricks. So bear with me here. So I'm gonna take the limit, so h goes to zero, of one over 83x plus 83h plus five minus f of x, 83x plus five, all over x plus h minus x. So here, if you can tell what I did over here, I'm taking the limit of my f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x. So my change in y over my change in x of my slope of the secant line. Now I'm dealing with nasty fractions, fractions inside of fractions, and it's super, super gross. And in order to deal with this, I'm gonna do a trick by multiplying this top part of the fraction and the bottom part of the fraction by these two nasty denominators. So what that looks like is I'm gonna multiply by 83x plus 83h plus five and multiply by 83x plus five. Both the top, 83h plus five times 83x plus five. Now, you're probably thinking that's crazy, but actually, when we do the algebra, this is going to be very cool. cool. So patience and watch. When I simplify this, the limit as h goes to zero. When I distribute this numerator, I'm gonna distribute this whole term to both of these terms inside. So when you distribute this, the 83x plus 83h plus five, those two terms are gonna cancel. And when I distribute to the second term, the 83x plus five over the 83x plus five are gonna cancel. So I, here, I'll write it all out. So I do 83x plus 83h plus 5 times 83x plus 5 all over the first term, the 83x plus 83h plus 5 minus, distribute again, 83x plus 83h plus 5 times 83x plus 5 all over 83x plus 5 all over my denominator, which is just an h times 83x plus 83h plus 5 times 83x plus 5. So, lots of algebra. It's gross and nasty. And again, if you can just kind of follow along, you're not going to be responsible for doing this. But I want to show you, after simplifying all this nasty algebra and taking the limit, I'm going to end up with this derivative, and I'm going to be very, very, very happy. So, Going back, why did I do this nasty, distributing this nasty algebra? Well, things start to clean up for me. I can get rid of a nasty fraction inside of a fraction, because these guys will cancel, 
and these guys will cancel. So my numerator will now just be 83x plus 5 minus 83x plus 83h plus 5 all over h times 83x plus 83h plus 5 times the 83x plus 5. And now there's that game where stuff just going to start to cancel. 83x minus an 83x. They're gone. The plus 5 minus the plus 5. So now I'm left with negative 83h all over h times 83x plus 83h plus 5 times 83x plus 5. Notice I've got two h's that will cancel and look the numerator and the denominator. And now, dun dun dun, if I take my limit as h goes to 0, this term here will go to 0. So I will be left with a negative 83 all over 83x plus 5, right? Because this guy went to 0, times this one, 83x plus 5. And here's where we get really excited, because what are we left with? Dun, 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 dun. 83x plus 5 times 83x plus 5. There's your 83x plus 5 squared. I wasn't making this up. You just saw the algebra. This is crazy. The derivative is negative 83, 83x plus 5 squared. And there you can kind of see the two answers similar. The one on the left in a world without the chain rule. Gross and nasty. Lots of algebra. Maybe some of you love it. That's fantastic. Or the world on the right side where the chain rule exists. Don't have to do so much algebra. The only tricky part about the world that chain rule exists is recognizing your outside function and your inside function. And also recognizing when you should do videos inside versus outside when it's a windy day. Ha. -ha. All right, hope you enjoy it. Think it through. Look over it again. Again, you're not responsible for the left side. You're responsible for being able to take the chain rule. Take this derivative using the chain rule. Work the right side. Live in the chain rule world. It's a good world to live in.